Hello viewers. Uh, in this uh, virtual class, uh, we are going to establish uh, the derivative of uh, sine s and cos x from uh, the first principle. So here, uh, we will use the first principle you know, to establish uh, the first derivative of sine s and cos x. Here we know that if y is equal to sine sin x for first principle, our y will be y plus uh, delta y, uh, which is y plus 20y. Uh, then we have a sine open bracket x will become s plus delta x. Here we move the y to the right hand side uh, so that our data y here will become uh, sine uh, open bracket x plus uh, data x minus uh, minus y and our y is uh, sine x so we have a uh, data y is equal to sine open bracket x plus uh, data x minus uh, sine x here we need to establish the fact that uh, sine x plus delta x uh, we can't just expand it uh, in this manner but we use uh, uh, the 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 sum formula uh, for trigonometry to expand uh, uh, to form to write an expression for sine uh, open bracket x plus delta x and x plus delta s is equal to um, sine x sine x cos delta x plus cos x or sine delta x okay that is the the expression for sine open bracket x plus delta x is sine s cos delta s plus cos s uh, sine delta x. So we replace uh, this expression with the right hand side here. So we have uh, here becomes uh, delta y is equal to sine x uh, cos delta x plus, um, plus uh, cos x or uh, sine delta delta x okay minus minus sine x minus uh, sine x okay we here here we know that the essence is we of this thing we are looking for or uh, the y the y the x okay so we divide through by Delta x, but before then, I uh, was seeing this one. This one is sine x. We have sine x here. That means uh, we we'll go to factor sine x. We we'll group it, and the factor is so this become delta y is equal to sine sine x cos delta x. Okay, uh, minus sine x plus cos x sine delta x so here sinus is uh, is uh, common so it's a charting factor so we have a our uh, delta y is equal to sine uh, oxide open bracket here become cos delta x minus 1 plus cos x sine delta x okay the next step is we divide through both sides divide through by the x divide through by what the x so we we'll divide through by what by the x divide through by the x so the next step here is that we we'll apply limit limit to both sides so as limit as limit of uh, uh, delta x tend to zero uh, we we'll have a um, delta y 
uh, over delta x is equal to uh, here we have a sine we have a sine x uh, uh, the limit we apply to this term here now become limit uh, open bracket cos x cos the x minus 1 or uh, as delta x tend to 0 all over delta x plus uh, limit as delta x tend to 0 uh, the limit will be applied to this uh, we have a cos x uh, limit as delta x tend to 0 of sine uh, delta x over delta x okay here it is interesting to know that this limit as as delta x tend to zero of uh, cos delta x minus one over delta x. Uh, this limit will tend to be zero. If we put uh, as delta x tend is zero, if we put it here, cos zero is one. So uh, one minus one is uh, zero. Zero divide. Uh, delta s that will give us zero then similarly uh, this limit limit as delta x tend to zero of sine uh, delta x over delta x this limit is usually uh, one okay if we apply if we bring that uh, uh, the power series for sine delta x uh, here this we become uh, one okay so if that happens that means the whole of this term here uh the whole of this term the whole of this term will become uh, as limit delta x tend to root uh, delta y over delta x become become the y uh the x here the whole of this quantity this limit is zero zero multiply sin s that means give us zero uh, why this limit is 1. So 1 times cos x, that will give us a what? Uh, cos uh, x. So the value of cos s, the value of cos, of, of the value uh, of y is equal to sin x. The first derivative is uh, cos uh, x. Okay? Then, now let's now also establish for sin. Uh, we have established for sin, let's establish for cos. If we have y is equal to cos uh, cos x, if we have y equals to cos x, uh, y is equal to cos x. Now let's see how to establish uh, the formula for the derivative that is the y dx for uh, cos x. So here, but before we do that, we also establish the fact that y is equal to y plus delta y uh, here we have a cos open bracket x plus uh, delta x okay now the the sum of this angle cos x plus uh, delta x uh, cos s plus delta x is equal to uh, cos x um, cos delta x minus sine x sine delta x this is the equivalent expression for cos x plus delta x okay now we we do the same thing here here we have a delta y becomes uh, in this uh, in place of this, we put this expression. We put cos cos x cos delta y delta x minus uh, sine x sine delta y minus cos x. Okay, bring the y to the right hand side. We call minus uh, cos uh, x. So here we have a uh, cos s. 
uh, we have a cos x. So this we come and we factor it. Uh, this is the, we call delta y is equal to cos x out. Here we have a cos delta x minus one. Okay, and we here will be left with a minus uh, sine uh, x sine delta x sine delta x. Okay, sine delta x. Okay, here our interest is that we are looking for the y ds. The next step is to divide both sides by uh, delta x. We divide this by delta x. I uh, also apply it to this uh, delta x. So similarly, from our limit here, this term here becomes uh, zero. As we apply the limit to both sides, this becomes zero. And uh, this limit here, this limit here, I'll sign the s over the s become one. So that uh, our dy or uh, the x if y is equal to cos s, if y is equal to of cos s becomes uh, minus uh, sine x. This is the, the proof uh, to uh, sine s and cos x from the first principle okay uh, the procedures are quite straightforward first and foremost you must know the the equivalent expression for sine uh, s plus the s or cos s plus the x then you substitute it apply the principle of uh, first principle uh, then your result will be out so also know that uh, time will not permit us uh, the explanation of this one from uh, the power series of cos x or cos the x. If we do this expansion, uh, is valid. Okay. Similarly, with this, uh, is valid. So the value or the derivative of uh, sine s is cos s, and the derivative of cos s is minus uh, sine s. Please, all you help me do, help me subscribe and. Uh, also hit the notification uh, button so that when uh, videos like this comes up, uh, you have access to them. Have a nice time. See you in our next virtual class.